Hey y'all, welcome to my video. This is a part 3 for my tutorial on how to play and build certain smite gods for the Xbox One. Uh, this video will be covering Ra, the sun god. He is a mid lane mage. Um, people can play him in the solo lane. I don't recommend it, as there's many matchups he will get destroyed in, like Odin for instance. Uh, but you can play him in mid, and he is excellent mid. Uh, he is one of my favorite mages in the mid. Second being Isis, third being Poseidon. Um, not in that order, but those are my favorite three. <coughs> so let's get into what to build on the uh, on the raw. So for raw, I like to go into Boots of the Magi because I like to build him extra powerful. I don't like CDR on him because most of his stuff has low cooldowns anyway. I don't really think CDR is necessary. Uh, you want to go maximum power and maximum maximum efficiency. I like to go Warlock Sash. Um, you can go Book of Thoth if you really want to, if you're having mana problems. Um, the reason why I like Warlocks is because it gives you extra survivability with tons and tons of health. Um, third item, Lotus Crown. Gotta have Lotus Crown. It's great in team fights. Anytime you drop your heal for yourself or the team, it puts up a debuff on you that gives you 20 protections, a magical and physical. And it gives you 30 physical protection, which is, you know, is, is nice too. So that's a total of 50 protections with your heal. Fourth item, Spirit of Magic, because Flat Pen is better than Obsidian Shard. The only time I would ever get Obsidian Shard over Spirit of the Magus is if they were stacking Magical Resist items, like two or three items, and then I'd probably get Obsidian Shard. But otherwise, always get Spirit of Magus. Okay, this one is tricky. I like to go into an Ethereal Staff, because in com combination with the Warlock Sash, it gives you so much health. Like, I don't even have any stacks on my Warlock Sash right now. And if I did, I'd be over 3k health. That makes Ra extra tanky. Especially for somebody like Ra, because you you pretty much have no escape. And you're all about just running around with your passive being super fast, super aggressive. And up in the face action pretty much is Ra. So I'd like to build him a little, a little bit more bruiserish. Um, tons and tons of health, tons of damage. And it converts 2% of your maximum health into, into power for you, which actually works really well with your sash. Uh, fifth item, obviously, Ratatouille. It's a must on any mage. You can't even skip it. So that's pretty much my build. Like I said, you can trade out Warlock Sash for the Book of Toth. And you can trade out Ethereal Staff for, like, a Bancrofts. If you if you really want to go, like, a little bit more damage and less tanky, um, I don't recommend it. You can, but that's just not my playstyle. And we're gonna get into get into that too. So basically, as Ra, your one is a push. You're gonna push right down the lane, clear the whole minion wave. I think around the fourth, yeah, about about the fourth level up on your on your push on your celestial beam, it should one shot most of the wave. Uh, at five, it definitely will one shot everything. Your two is a blind. Basically, anybody that comes near you will get blinded. Their whole screen will turn bright, and they'll be slowed. So. Ra doesn't have a getaway, so this pretty much counts as your getaway. It's not it's not a fantastic getaway, but it is great in team fights. It does a lot of damage too. Uh, your three is a heal, which you can drop on yourself, or you can drop it on the minion wave. Basically, what I like to do is Ra is I like to drop down the the heal on the wave. Which heals your minions and damages the enemy, and it makes it really hard for their mid laner to push your lane, especially when you're playing aggressive. You drop the heal on your wave, and then you push the wave, and it pushes them back to their tower, and that's what it you want to do. That's that's one of the strengths of Ra is really really nobody beats him in the lane. Nobody beats him in the lane. Um. So basically, like I said, you drop the heal on your wave, you push the wave. Get the healing going. Any kind of damage or poke you take, you get healed up to full. And that's great. Um, the way I like to play Ra is I like to play him aggressive. I like to get up in the mage's face. So drop the heal, a butt up lined up, he's gonna be slowed. And you just go up in their face, you hit him with that. Um, you could also play extra aggressive and get rid of the You can get rid of the Ethereal Staff and pick up a Gem of ISO, which stacks which are slow, you're blind. It makes them run super slow, and it's easy to hit your ult that way. You pretty much, you know, you're gonna blind them, and then you're gonna all on top of them. I don't recommend doing that because any good player will probably try to juke you. Um, really fun against noobs because they don't know how to juke, and they'll probably die, and you'll like one shot them. So it's pretty nice. 
So, advanced tactics is raw. Is let's go back to the fountain real quick. I just need to buy some actives. I did, I, I got have to go over the actives that you need. So basically, the actives that you want to get on raw is you want to get a heavenly agility or a combat blink. Either one works. It really just depends on the situation. And it depends on who you're facing. For instance, if I'm facing an Odin and I know he's going to blink in and use his alt on top of me, which reduces your healing by 100% and traps you in a cage, uh, you you have no way to heal yourself. So you, there you goes that. And you can't get out of the cage, right? Because you have no jump, no dash, no nothing. So basically, then you get a combat blink and you will blink out of the cage. Uh, in most situations, you'll probably end up getting heavenly agility. And you'll probably end up getting beats. This is pretty much your go-to, unless you need a combat blink bad. Depends on what god you're facing. Pretty much the beads, obviously the beads are there to get you out of chain CCs, like stuns, knockups, etc. You do beads it and you'll run. Heavenly Agility can be used on the entire team. It increases your healing by 25% and gives you a sprint. So you pop it on your whole team. Now your whole team has sprint and you're running. You're going to tower dive. You're going to do whatever. You're going to throw up your heal. You're going to heal people for 25% more. So with Heavenly Agility pop, you're probably going to heal like at 150 to 175 per tick. And it's going to heal a crap ton on your team, and it is great in team fights. I highly recommend it. So, Ra, like I said, he he's more of a support type of mage. He's not the kind of mage that you know just goes in there and just destroys everybody. He plays from the back, the back line. You sit way in the back, like well, most mages do anyway. But you sit way in the back and you try to hit people with your you know, with your thing, and then you try to heal your team up, put the debuff on them so that they get the protections and everything, and they're getting heals. Anytime you see an opportunity, like if somebody gets stunned, say a Thor goes in with an ult, he hits two people, you're going to ult right on top of the sun, and you're going to get a nice snipe in. And, and that's the point, is you want to you wanna kind of build a comp around Ra. He needs a little bit of assistance with his ult. You can try to aim it, but people try to juke it pretty easily, so I wouldn't recommend trying to aim it and shoot it. You can if you want to, but you're probably going to waste it unless you get lucky. You need somebody to, to build it up for you, like a Hades ult or a Thor ult or a Thor stun with his hammer. Uh, just just anybody that really has a stun, a Sylvanas knockup does well, uh, Geb stun does well, anybody that can set up a, a snipe for you. Also, one of the best parts about Ra is with the upcoming meta change, where Hog is no longer needed on people. Um, he is actually really good at sniping objectives, like the Gold Furies and the Fire Giants. If you see a Fire Giant, like for instance, going down to like 10%, nobody's obviously going to have Hog. And right when you get to that certain threshold, see, you see, you see it, you see, you see it, and then you just snipe it. And you're going to hit it for like 1,200 to 1,300 on all. And you're going to, you're going to steal the objective. And, and mid lane mages are going to be known for that with the upcoming patch because they just do so much damage. Scylla's another one. Scylla can alt it. Kokalkan's another one. Kokalkan could alt it. Um, so basically, they're going to be really valued, these kind of gods, because they can actually steal objectives and secure them pretty well. But Ra will always be valued because of his heal. It's so good. It affects the entire team and it puts up the lowest ground buff on, on all your teammates. He's great for pushing towers. He's great for team fights. His only problem is he's really susceptible to ganks, so you have to be careful. Uh, basically, you don't want to go past the middle of your lane in laning phase. So, say I'm in the middle of the lane right now. I don't want to go up by their tower, like up here, because then from the right or from the left, I can get ganked and I don't have no blink. And I don't have no way to get out. See, they're gonna they're gonna double team me, and I'm gonna die. So basically, you want to play a little bit safe with Ra. You just want to hit the minion wave, heal the minions, kill the minions, push the wave, and set on the tower. Maybe go to the left, do some mid harpies. You know, come back, clear the next wave, then go to the back, kill the back harpies, and then come back, and then clear your wave again. So that's pretty much the general basics of laning phase, and any kind of advanced tactics that I have for Ra. Um, yeah, so, that's, that's basically it. I mean, Ra is a fantastic choice for mid. Um, just keep in mind, like I said, he has no getaways, no escapes other than blind, which isn't very reliable. So, if you play him safe, he's excellent. If you try to be too aggressive or you don't play smart, you're probably going to get camped in your lane. So, I would definitely recommend playing him them a little bit passively. But yeah, I love Ra. He's one of my favorite mages, and I hope you like him too. And I hope you get to enjoy them and maybe use a little bit of what I said and my build and tactics. Um, I hope this this video helps you guys. If you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comment section and I will try to re respond as fast as I can. 
And as always, thank you guys for watching my videos because without you, I wouldn't be doing this. And I appreciate all the support. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you can. And I really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much and take care.